Let's go make out right now. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to look my dad in the eye. <laughs> I can get really creeped out very easily. I also have blood all over me. I like heard you swallow that. Pour it up, girlfriend. Pour it up. I'm not even great at taking shots. I don't know. <laughs> what, how, how is my I'm good? I'm gonna finish it. People are offended. They're like, why are you drinking Fireball of all the things? I completely I'm like, disagree. It's just a warm hug. Tastes like heaven. Burns like hell. What happens next is up to you. Cheers. Hi guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and I'm here with a very special guest, Miss Kate. We kind of look similar on camera. Now that I'm like looking at us, it's actually kind of like... Do we look alike? Let us know. I mean, I would... I dyed my hair darker, so I feel like I'm like a oh, little bit... I'm closer right. to you now. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a truth or drink video. The thing to do is... We're hopping on the like, bandwagon. I mean... Yeah, you've done a few. I've done. One. I've done one. It's good to like let your filter kind of... Go out the window for a yeah. second and just be real. We keep it real. <laughs> yeah, over shares, if you will. Yeah. But basically the rules are if we don't feel comfortable answering the question, we take a sh a drink, or in our case, a shot. Oh. Fireball. We have a little like mm -hmm. a spread. A spread. A spread. A spread. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys don't follow Katie, uh go check out her channel, her Instagram. So much talent, truly. Um we, no, seriously, we are don't also stop, using her stop. custom <laughs> 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 shot glasses. Yes. Yes, these are um Katie Bellotti designs. You guys have heard me in my vlogs. And we can't remember the last time we've done collab. I mean, holy crap. The Stone Ages, literally. I, yes. I feel like I have not just sat down with another person yeah. in so long. We have Emma, lovely, off camera here, um, <laughs> who is going to be reading us the questions. I personally like when someone else reads the questions, so, because we don't, we don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, we have no idea the, what's being asked. The element so. of surprise. It's 4.15 on a Wednesday, yes, and so. here we go. First one, what's your biggest turn on and what's your biggest turn off? As I get older, it's definitely like when I see signs of like insecurity in men, I guess, kind of, or I've, I'm sure you've had this too, like men who are kind of like intimidated by a strong woman, I guess. Oh you know God. what I mean? Or oh. a woman with a personality. Girl, are you kidding me? Yes. We, we have our own businesses. We encounter yes. this all the time. All the time. It used to be something that I would be like, no, I can fix this, and like, whatever. And now I'm like, that is just so, like, we're no. just on two different paths. Like, it's it's actually, like, I'm immediately turned off. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's turnoffs that are, like... Physical stuff. Yeah. No, but that yes. is, like, that's something that you really can't... It's hard to kick that. Like, I got the ick. Hard yeah. to... Oh, it gets, I get the ick right away yeah. with that. If they are... I don't know how to say this, like, with politely, but... This is a truth or drink. You don't yes. polite in a truth or drink. Yeah. When you go to their Instagram and you see that they're heavily into, like, Instagram model culture... Oh, you know what I mean? And I respect the gals who are like out there getting their hustle. Like I freaking commend it, but I don't know if I would want, like it's a real turn off for me and a guy when I'm like, I see that that's yeah. like who Well, they it would just are. make me feel insecure. Yes, that's more it's, so It's probably it more yeah, yeah. And it's not really in I would feel You know, like the Alexis friends of the world and whatever. Like oh, the, yeah. The same yeah. Lane, whatever. But to me, I'm just like, if you're into that, you're probably not into me likely. So like, I, I'm just turned off. Right, right, right. Yeah. I think that a lot of us would agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's a mean thing at all. It's a big turn off when they're really they complain a whole lot about work. Totally normal to complain about work. Like it's work by, like, you know, it's just by definition, it's something you don't want to be doing per se. Like yeah. we're lucky to love our jobs, mm -hmm. but totally. not everyone is like that. And I know that's a privileged thing. So, but when it's like to the point where I'm like, oh my God, can we talk I about something else? Like that, it just drives me insane. Good hygiene, really important. Oh, yes. Like, are you showering when you need to be showering? True, are you brushing true. your teeth? Like. Hygiene. Just basic things. Like if someone's just not taking care of their, themselves, like not even like getting themselves moving or anything, like it just yes. really bugs me because like it just shows that they're, if they can't value themselves in that way, they're not going to value me. I feel the same way and to take it one step further, I don't care what like your actual apartment structure is, like if you share like with roommates and stuff, which is most guys I'm sure that you're dating, uh -huh. but when your space is disgusting, pick up your clothes off the floor from yeah, coming like over, like trash on the ground. I just, yeah, you know, yeah. there's like basic levels of hygiene that I agree because it's just, I mean, that's just a turn off. It's, it's like you smell bad. Right? Right? Like, I mean, if you turn off and like if, if anyone, I'd be like, this is just no. Come on, my turn on. Well, I mean, this kind of goes into like love languages and things like that, but right, I'm a big like words of affirmation, like compliment person, so right. I think I like that but in a way where I can get really creeped out very easily like the line for me is very thin in terms of like ooh, that was a little like weird I didn't like the way you took that but just in terms of niceties like admiring my work ethic my confidence like things like that that are right I th that to me I'm like okay let's, let's go make out right now well, like they're yeah. validating like to yes, your yes your work like obviously it'd make you feel good yeah I, I agree I like when they remember 
things that I tell oh, them. Oh, that's good too. Like, and, yeah. And my, I told this to my friends and they're like, Katie, that's the bare minimum. Like, it is the bare and minimum. And I'm like, Both yes. of these are. I am like, this guy does something that is literally the bare minimum. And I'm like, thank God. Oh my God. And yes. I had the love of my life. And also they like make inferences based on the things that you say. Mm. They're like, oh, she says that she likes Italian food. Therefore, I want to take her to this really great Italian Mood. place. Turn it into action. Not just like reiterating something to me, but are like, oh, she said that she really likes yes. meatballs. Which I do. <laughs> I love meatballs. That yes. shows yes, yes, yes. like effort and initiative. If it's <laughs> too far, it doesn't, or too often or like yeah it feels like it's ingenuine i know and it could be totally genuine but it but that's also but it, probably but due it, to bad it's, experiences it's, no it's literally <laughs> yeah. trauma that's a trauma response cheers <laughs> we're ended together have you ever called a guy daddy i have not i have not that like I'm creeps not. me yeah out. i'm a fan of talking like when i'm hooking up with someone like i'm a fan of Oh, um, I would prefer that over silence. Are you kidding me? I, have you ever hooked up with someone? Yes, and, and I say, I'm like, can you, hello? Like, Give me something. No judgment, like, but, like, no, but there's other things that I would, yeah. Even if they asked me, I'd be like, in your dreams. No yeah, way. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to look my dad in the eye after that. <laughs> Worst walk of shame. I just have to think back to freshman year. College. High school? No. <laughs> College. I wouldn't stay the night. So I would walk back at night at like three, four in the morning from one dorm to another. And I was probably a little too drunk i mean georgia like the campus is pretty safe and like right. the rooms aren't too far apart but like picture me like it's over i would literally just and like they invite you to say obviously like you're allowed to stay but i was like no i want to no, 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 no. know i like I, I, yeah. sleeping in my own bed I fully yeah get that. i fully get that and i remember one time he fell asleep and i just left and then like he texted me the next day like i left something i never went back to pick it up and i never saw him again so what did you leave <laughs> <Your dignity>? max <laughs> studio fix powder picture me like as a freshman like, walking without your powder with oily skin <laughs> my best worst walk of shame pretty recently i mean not like recent like before covid but like i have to say halloween in new york city mm. is so freaking fun oh my god it's like my best it's also my birthday weekend like right after my birthday mm -hmm. so Good this vibes. was two years ago and my costume was little dead riding hood not little red <laughs> little dead i had a doorman at the time i came back the next morning and my little dead riding hood. i had a basket <laughs> and everything like a total like a like a literal <laughs> i had every i was like impeccably okay, okay outfitted for this but my hair was like up to here i also have blood all over me because yeah. i had a little dead riding hood and i walk into my doorman's like he just like looks at me. He's so judgmental. I loved the guy, but he's so judgy. And he was like, hmm. And I'm like, hmm. Like you, similar. Like yeah. I needed to get the frick out of there. I was like, yes. I'm leaving at like 7 a.m. I'm out. I'm a morning leaver too. Well, yeah. I'm also like, I feel like I need to cleanse the <laughs> sins from my body. Get a bagel. And, and yes. read a book or something. <laughs> I mean, costume stories are always fun. Like if I have a guy that I'm like interested in, I often actually like go to their place because I can leave whenever I want. Mm -hmm. Good plan. Which is because like sometimes guys like just don't want to leave. They're like, let's hang out all day. And I'm like, absolutely not. Get the heck out of my place. Yes. Leave. Little death. Are you going to make us take a shot or what? Um, <laughs> Come on. What's your body count? I have to drink for this one. Oh, you guys wish you knew. Yeah. <laughs> Danielle asked me this. This is going up on the podcast this week. Danielle asked me this and she's like, I'll share mine. And I was like, I'm not going to share mine. She's like, really? Why? That Personal. is one thing that I will keep. Like, I'm an open book with many things, but with that, I don't know if I'll ever share. You really I don't know. the brim, Brooke. Yeah, sorry, Katie. I filled yours a whole lot. <laughs> There's the floor. Would you ever share that? Because then everyone on the internet no. has access to it. No, there's just certain things that I feel like you need to keep private. Just, well, not mm -hmm. even like for a certain reason, just because like if there's nothing private, like you yeah. feel like you're just like on a soapbox your whole life. Yeah. We've been doing this for a very long time. I agree. And that's like one thing that I'm like, I can control that. Right. There's just certain privacy. things that are just like personal. They're personal. Good for you, girl. I feel anyway. Like, cheers. All right. Here we go. Hmm. I like heard you swallow that. I'm like CEO of like leaving it, a little bit at the bottom. It hurt in a good way. We have like other places to be after this. Like, oh, yeah. Would you believe it? We have like plans. Before you guys met in person, so obviously you both were online before you met in person. Right. What was your impression of each other before you mm. like actually met each other? Okay, I'll go first because <laughs> I have a really good answer. I was an OG, probably Katie Watcher. Like, yeah, high school, like the story times, like the old bedroom. And then, oh no, you know why I really liked you? Because you're your a year older than me, like whatever. So you went to college before me. So the Elon freshman year content and like oh, yeah. this, specifically like, I knew I wanted to join Strati. I knew I was going to college yeah. top too. It was how it was shown. I was like, I want this to be my college experience. Like I just saw you as like the ideal fun college gal. And I feel like you were very open. Like we were very similar about our high school experiences. Yeah. So I was like, now I'm going to like, be like Katie and be like you were almost a um, role model kind of. Emma's losing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But also the funny thing is like she 
she's laughing, I my heart is I'm like prickling. I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm like getting emotional. The crazy thing is, is like when you were watching me like doing all of those things freshman year, I was like so insecure, so scared, so like all the things. And then when I like saw your content, I know you are younger than me, yeah. but not by much. So like yeah, obviously I still really yeah, like yeah. your college content. You were like so like I'm doing all these things, like I'm so confident. I definitely portrayed a certain part of myself that I wasn't quite at yet, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Like I definitely was like freshman year, I was shaking in my boots. Everyone was terrifying to me. I get it. Like making friends was hard because I didn't have any friends in high school. So I was or I like, had a few, but nothing like genuine that I felt like. So I was like so nervous. So seeing your content and how you portrayed yourself, like it just it made me feel like, oh, like like so you sweet. felt it for me, it felt like you had your shit together more than I did. Interesting how we you see just, others you don't know. versus how they see us. I mean, it's it's always like that. It's like that with perception. Without even people. content creators included, it's just like that with everybody. It is. Literally before I became close with my my current best friends, like I was like they're they're out of my league. Like I didn't think I could ever be friends with them. Meanwhile, you just never know what people are going through. You never know what yeah. also what people are what they're processing, what they're dealing with, because like you only see what they're letting you see. Your perception of yourself is so twisted compared right. to like what others think of you, you right. know? Right. I remind myself of that all the time. That was deep. Oh, that was sweet, Katie. I was like, that was emotional. Even after I met you, I don't know right. if this was another question, but the, I, it was the same. Like I felt like you were so confident. Not so confident to the point that you were like all eyes on me when you walk in a room, but just the way you carried yourself was so mature, I right. guess, for our age. And I was like, she's only a year older than me and she's this like Because I had mature. to be, because otherwise, like when you're on the internet, when you're you know putting your life out every week, you have to be confident. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're gonna let every comment get to you. You're so right. Like yeah. every every time someone tells mm -hmm. you something that is fully true. Like, oh, Katie's acting like this because, and I'm like, you're not wrong, but I can't let you see this because I, yeah. like, I can't, if I want to keep coming on here every week, I have to, like, have a little shred of confidence in myself. What's the most drunk you've ever been at a PR or, like, influencer event? Ooh. And what's the brand? Okay. And if you don't see the brand, you have to drink. Okay. Well, I was, like, CEO of always getting drunk at, like, the Playlist Lives and stuff on the I, like, I, like, threw up. Really? <laughs> I'm not a puker. Because we would just like all see each other for the first time in so long. Yeah. It's just the same time. Yeah. The same thing as if you see your friends after a long time, like your best friends. It's uh -huh. like you get like just unexplicably hammered. Unexplicably. <laughs> Unexplicably. Unexplicably. In inexplic inexplicably. In it? No. I actually need to finish the rest of this, so. You didn't. I'm sorry. The door is over there and this is your friend, <laughs> but the door is there. Yeah, I'm kicked out. How do you both feel about the wave of influencers quitting their jobs <laughs> that you guys started? Did we start it? I don't think we started per se. I feel like the OG OG, I will give her credit, Natalie Barbu. Yeah, she did it first, I feel Truly. like. For me, at least. Before For me. Go. Hey, power to them. I'm happy. I hope they didn't get as much hate as we did. <laughs> I feel like we carried the we, we, that on our backs. I literally woke up to like a new angry message every day that I was like losing my relatability and I'm like, yeah. how dare you comment on my life like that? But I'm like, put puts my life on the internet. How dare you comment on my life? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. And this might be contradictory to like everything that I'm out here and I'm like, ooh, whatever. I low key, like I understand it. I have enough insight to like look Right. step back and see my videos from a viewer perspective or from my friend's perspective that they're like literally breaking their backs working in corporate like not yeah. getting enough recognition not getting paid enough there is a lot of privilege that mm -hmm. is involved in terms of like that we were able to like get started at such a right. young age and we didn't have to like you know work to support our families and things like that but you also think about when we were young like what it meant for us to start a youtube channel back then like it, oh we like i i see where you're going with that and i totally get it but i'm like we went through so much when we were young. Yeah. So much that we shouldn't have gone through if we hadn't, if we just decided to not mm -hmm. do something bizarre for the time. Like now it's so normal and I'm happy that it is. I'm like, Me I'm too. so thrilled that like everyone's filming their lives. I think it's so cool. But back then, like we were ridiculed for it. Like I was oh, bullied for yeah. it. And so now, Sue me if I want to make it my job if I can. Like I feel the we same went way. through it. Like we didn't have normal childhoods. I feel the same way. I don't look back at my high school experience and think like, oh, it's the exact same right. as my friends because it wasn't. However, I think that it's incredibly cool that we are in this world now where you could choose to. And I have so many friends who even started later that have chosen to like do freelance, that have chosen to take a risk and like quit their job and pursue something and like maybe cut back on their life expenses or whatever. It like allows you to pursue something that you've done, you've cultivated. Like we have like grown this. Yes. And I like think of it as like 
a baby that is not know that, but so now, ready. like, you know, when the baby is like so young, you're like, you, you have to like be with it all the time, and now we're like, oh, yeah. the baby's kind of grown up, we can kind of like let loose a little bit, rip some yes. hair off, like. I feel you know? the same way. I feel the same it's way. It's more like, fun now than it used to be. Like, it's definitely more fun. Like, the so. fact that we could sit here at 4 p.m., like, drinking and, like, I'm like this video is, like, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're getting so deep. Like, I hate that we're, like, known as, like, those people. Like, the ones that are, like... Someone made a video about us. I know. Did you watch it? Yes. There's a video about... With, we're in the thumbnail. Yeah. And by far the worst photo you could have chosen of me is the thumbnail. I'm like, girly, at have least you ever choose a video? cute... Thumbnail. I'll link it down below. I mean, no, actually, it was really interesting. It's it was very ripping. interesting. It was. It was about actually. It was like an analysis of like YouTubers putting their job. She actually. Basically. She did a, a great job, but I'm like, yeah. wow, choose a better photo. Talking about stands, what's your worst fan encounter? A guy that I was seeing, his ex was a subscriber, or like, wow. but like a, wow. like she. I went like I did the thing where like. I creeped on her a little bit. Like I was like, let me look at her on Instagram. And, it was like follow back. and it did follow back and like I That's always the most satisfying thing. Yeah. I looked at her <laughs> her following or yeah, following. I'm like drunk. I look at her following and it's like you. It's like everybody oh my gosh. like in our yeah, yeah, yeah. little and so I was cool. like, yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh my god, this girl's a follower and like it it ended up being a problem down the road like or not a problem but like an it, like she was like oh, oh wow like i and i felt kind of bad because i was like i, well, I yeah. didn't do anything bad but i was like oh like, she like knows me yeah like, she knows my whole life yeah. and i chose to hook up with her like i felt like i was betraying a friend i got it isn't that crazy though i don't even know her but i i understand i was like saying. this girl's going through like a hard time because of me and she grew up watching my videos like not that i owe her anything but you know i mean you could say that for anyone with right. an ex in general right. like you could say like oh, oh yeah she's so bad for this person or this is like yeah. therapy no <laughs> Brooke, Brooke, i love coming to your place i mean when i was in college of course people would approach all the time 99 percent. i can't think of anything that was like an odd encounter per se i love when people encounter come up when i'm like with a guy because i just the ego just oh yeah it's happened to me on a few days please take our photo i feel like most of the people watching this you guys are great people so thank you for being all right someone give her something to talk about <laughs> no it's not like i have like a stop oh my god not gonna look here's her address oh. send her something silly send, send her a stripper when's the last time you sent a nude i've never sent a nude in my entire life how nude is yeah. the nude oh i mean i've sent like suggested photos i am like a, like a, like like a, ro like a suggested like a, shot a, no, what's what is a nude considered? Well, I've sent like a, I mean I hate the word like lingerie, but I've sent like pics yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think obviously. it counts as a nude. Does it? But like on Snapchat, really? Yeah, I think like a butt pic with your underwear on counts as like a nude. Like I've never wrong. even done that. Like I've done like a like a, a picture like, but I'm also <laughs> I am the person that is absolutely terrified well, of like never. Pro tip to the the others: okay. never put your face in it, even okay. if it's your boyfriend. Don't do it. You never know what's gonna happen. I only send things that you could just you can't even tell. It's like cute lingerie, and I'm like, let me show them off my cute. Okay, little, that's new, new purchase. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, no face, never. Okay, all right. Pro tip. So when was the last time though? Like, the answer. <laughs> You're like, like okay. So for me, like suggestive snap, probably like what, like a month ago, two months ago, probably like last week. <laughs> <laughs> last question for this one: Mary, fuck, kill, Danielle. Morgan Yates and Taylor <laughs> King. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I know, I feel like we have to do I, I can't. Pour it up, girlfriend. Pour it up. Any sort of those, like, rank your friends. Girls, like, I love you all. I simply can't. I would never kill anyone. Oh my god. Well, I know. I can we marry you. everybody. We'll just marry them all. Somebody called 911. Katie's a pro. Did you not expect <laughs> us to get deep? I can't recommend therapy enough. In all seriousness, um, we're gonna do more questions on Katie's channel, so I'll have the link down below. Also in a card. I am Cheers. like so happy we did Me this. Me too. I, this was I so fun. I think this has been like long overdue. Love you guys. And we'll talk to you all uh, super soon. Watch Katie's video. Bye.